So anyways, up here in Red Pace, in Death Valley, it, you know, in mid-April, it's still pretty cool. It's about 50 degrees, uh, kind of froze my ass off last night. And I want to show you a plant that's probably one of the most unremarkable looking plants uh, since creosote bush. And that's Luria tridentata, creosote bush. Uh, but uh, this is a very significant plant for its taxonomic placement in the Asteraceae, the sunflower family. So this is a distant relative of uh, true sunflowers in, uh, in the Asteraceae family, which of course is the most ecologically successful uh, family next to uh, uh, legumes uh, in the world. This is Hecastocleis shockleyi. And uh, you know, I, uh, I was expecting it not to be flowering, which is fine, but I wasn't expecting it to just be this. I don't know what it is, but there's just something about it that uh, if I didn't know anything about it, I would just think, this is fuck, what am I doing? What am I looking at? Why, who cares? But if you look at these flowers, uh, they're very remarkable. They're basically, you know, the, the sunflower family has a capitula, uh, which is the flower head, and that each capitula has about 50 flowers in it. These only have, uh, it looks like, uh, well, one, one floret per capitula, but then it's got a secondary capitula, uh, and the thing that's remarkable, remarkable about this is that its closest relatives are in South America. They're members of the Asteraceae in a South America in a tribe called the Gachnadiae. But now this is in its own tribe. Uh, this is a Castocles shockleyi. For those of you that aren't uh, much into botany or Asteraceae, this is probably going to be a very boring video for you. But for me, I had to come here and see it because it's uh, so remarkable. When they did the DNA work on this, they realized how remarkable it was. It really did deserve its own subfamily. Uh, it's just a really weird goddamn plant. Uh, but you know, I just, I can't be wooed by a plant that's uh, got leaves with no petioles. I didn't know the, the, the leaves were sessile like that. But I did know that it's got these bracts. There's the, the dried flower. Now when this thing's in bloom, then it's pretty fucking uh, interesting to look at. I mean, you get up in there and you look at the, that's basically the last year's flower. But when it's in bloom, you get up there and you look at that, and that's that's pretty, it's pretty remarkable. But uh, right now, it just looks like a bush. You know, I can't say much about it besides that. I've tried, I've sat here, I've tried to think of something charismatic and lovely to say about it, but I, I just can't. And uh, it, therefore, a, a cl more clear picture of the, the one of the branch, the branches, there you go. You got those sessile leaves occurring in fascicles. The margins are entire, and... Uh, it's covered with these bracts that have kind of been, they're being used as spines, basically as a, a, a deeters to a herbivory. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, growing on limestone, and uh, that's about all I got to say about that right now because I'm just so, uh, I'm just so non-wood. But, uh, you know, maybe you come here another month or two when it's blooming, and uh, you'll have a lot more to look at. But uh, the scenery's nice.